Last week I noticed that my gear shift indicator light had burned out, and in this video I'll take you along on the process of changing it. So to get started, I'll just remove the knob from the high-low shift lever, and we need to remove this small cap. I just use my key to do that, and that will unlock the shift lever. Next, we need to work on getting the cover pulled up. And I didn't use any trim removal tools or anything special for this. I was able to just use some kind of counter leverage here and pull that up. This was my first time doing it, so I was being kind of delicate, but it seems actually pretty, pretty sturdy. And then you can use where that leather boot is to get a grip to kind of get the first clip uh, unhooked. And I just kept the entire shot of me struggling here just so you can get a sense for what it looks like. And then once you have that up, um, I found it easier to remove the ashtray just to give myself a little bit more space. And then you have connectors on the seat heaters and then the, in my case, in the HC and for the power and second switch there. So once you get those connectors removed, then you can remove this entire cover. No problem there. And so once you have that removed, now we have one more small cover to remove, and that's the one over the gear shift lever here. Again, nothing special. I was able to just pull this up and away. I probably could have removed the knob on the shift lever in the beginning, um, but no big deal. You can just remove that whenever you're ready to. And it will just screw off similar to the uh, high-low lever. Cool, and with that off, now we have access to the gear shift light. Just turn that 90 degrees and it'll come right out. And then we just have a small light bulb with this green cap on it. This light bulb isn't a specialty one or anything. It's actually the same light bulb that's used in the ashtray. So you can just pick one up at any auto parts store. I grabbed this one from AutoZone. So you can remove that green cap and hang on to that. I ended up buying a new one, but here are the lights for the part number and then quick shot of the cap. I'm not sure how sensitive these smaller lights are to oil on your hands. Most people seem to say it's better to not get oil on them, so just trying to be careful to not do that. Once you have the new light plugged in there, just slot it back into his home and you're pretty much done. At this point I'm just testing to make sure the light worked and then I'll reconnect everything and make sure that those lights are working. And then putting this cover back in place, also not too bad. Um, just find the clips that you originally removed and you can press that down. Mine went back in, no big deal. I was also surprised how much dirt and debris was underneath that cover. So this was a good chance to vacuum some of that stuff out of there. Last check on all the lights. Those are looking good. Seat heaters looking good. And that's it, quick and easy. I hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you on the next one.